Hi everyone, today I'm going to experiment with alcohol ink. Um, it works totally different from like the India ink or acrylic ink that I've been using in the past. And you can see the colors are very intense and bright and you can get all kinds of different looks about them. And usually you work with alcohol inks on this Yupo paper. Now, Yupo is wonderful, you know, it's very slick. Um, this is a pack of 10 sheets. But, you know, uh, things, you kind of hesitate to use the really good stuff until you really, really get really good at it. So I found that that slick surface can also be found in just foam core. And foam core has this wonderful surface it resists water pretty much, and um, it works well to practice. You can get a large sheet and cut it down, and this is an eight by 10. And I got some old brushes here, and I just got some colors that I like. Denim Stream Sailboat Blue, and um, Butterscotch Sunshine Yellow, and Sunset Orange, and those would be the colors I'll be using today. Now, I used to be a high school art teacher, and we'd use whatever medium we had on hand, and we'd play and experiment and try different things, and that's what I still do. So I have this Amico Wax Resist, and it's water-soluble, so you it doesn't you know mess up your brushes. You can brush it on, wash them out in water, it's basically just for any kind of art project, clay. It'll resist glaze when you put it on a ceramic pot and fire it, it'll fire off and things like that. But I like it, it's got this, you know, kind of basic beige color to it. It's very liquidy. So I'm gonna use just one of my brushes and I'm kind of thinking clouds, mountains, things like that. So it's my resist. So clouds would be kind of straight at the bottom, kind of puffy at the top, a little bit over here. Just kind of put some long baguette looking clouds in the sky, leaving space between them. We'll be taking on different shapes just kind of a few here and there going off the end a little bit puffy flat bottom okay and then for the mountains I'm going to put some in just kind of texturally different shapes different angles and see what we get. This is all, you know, kind of experimental. We'll do a little horizontal at the bottom. It's kind of beating up and separating. That's good. That'll give me a little more texture, a little bit something in here going on. Now I'm going to let that dry and wash off my brush. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to start with some butterscotch up at the top here. Now I have a brush that's dipped in isopropyl alcohol. So that'll kind of blend it. You know, alcohol dries really fast. But I'm just gonna put it on and just kind of drag it through. I like the corners to be a little darker. You go right over the clouds because that's our resist. And you know, kind of, I like to Get a few action things going here with my brush. And again, it's all an experiment. There's, you know, whatever it's going to do, this is the learning part of it all. It's the fun part. Drag it through, pull it through to the edges. It's still that butterscotch. I'm going to put a little lines in there that kind of 
Make it a little deeper. It starts to kind of set up and dry quickly and do its own thing. You can see lights and darks happening. I'm going to switch over to the uh, Sunshine Yellow. They have their own names for everything. It doesn't seem to coincide with anything much other like paints or anything. They're, they're, it's, they're the own thing, you know. I'll pull that across the sky a bit. I have a baby wipe dipped in some alcohol. I'm going to pull that through, kind of rub things together. I always like baby wipes. I use it in my painting. I use it in everything. Very versatile tool. Now, I want to start with my deepest blue, which is, I just bought colors I'd like. This is a denim. So we're going to, again, take our brush, take our denim, and I'm kind of thinking of like maybe mountains kind of a thing. And we'll just kind of bring that down this way and see what it does for us. And it's putting it on and taking it off. Well, not really taking it off. Putting it on and blending it down. Oh, see, now it's hitting some of that wax. And it's doing some things, some interesting things. And we've got a little yellow showing through. All good, all good. And then I almost kind of tend to see a little bit of them. Purple in there, which is kind of interesting. Bring it down. To me, these seem to go a long way. I don't know. I suppose it depends how big it is. Now, see, if it spatters off into the yellow, that's okay. I don't care. I like texture. I like to let it kind of do its thing and Give me something really unique. All kinds of crags and the mountains. Kind of take it through like that. And I'm going to try stream now with the rest of this mountain range. Like it might be coming back this way. Let's see what we got here. That's interesting. That's interesting. Deeper here, kind of coming away from the, the lighted part. Let's try that baby wipe. See what that does. I have another brush, it's a little flatter. Take that and kind of just get some kind of a edge going. And then, you know, if the, the brush strokes show through, I, I like that also. That's kind of an interesting effect. Bring it down. And since I'm seeing, I want to kind of carry this, some of this color into here. And then go back and get my denim and bring some of that into this. I 
I love mountains. I love to go where mountains are. We go to the southwest a lot, Santa Fe mountains. Just gorgeous. They have so much character and so much going on. And since I am seeing some purples happening, and again, kind of, you know, make it do things, kind of splash your brush around so that you're getting different textures and things happening. Um, I do have a purple, purple twilight. So I'm going to just try a little bit of that in there and see what that ends up looking like. Catch some of this. There's all kinds of colors in mountains. I've seen mountains that were just blue, just so blue, picking up so much of the color of the atmosphere. The other color I have is sailboat blue, and we're going to put some of that down here and bring it through this way. Let's see what we got. Some white showing through, kind of the the mountains end. Maybe it's picked up with a little bit of um, maybe that's water down there. Maybe it's something else. Oh, I like how that resist is working. Gives it a nice look to it. Things happening through there. Again, moving that brush around, making it look like it's churning things up. It's an interesting thing to look at. There's stuff happening. Go back to that um, little bit of stream. And then I like to bring some of the color up into the sky. So I bring that through. It's kind of like stuff happening into the sky. Here's my baby wipe. Blend it across. You know, with any media, you know, there, there's, there's nothing that you can do wrong exactly, you know? It's just always make it look like it's intentional. It's something you wanted to be there. Put a little bit of stream in again. I like to carry the colors through the whole painting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can also take drops of um, alcohol and just kind of spatter it and that gives another thing going on down there more things happening and um, I think back to denim get a little bit of denim going in here carrying it through carrying it through Okay, all right, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm sure you're gonna, I'll show you how, what we do with that wax that's on there, be right back. Okay, I'm gonna take a paper towel and this dries really fast because of the alcohol in it. And I'm just going to rub through and rub off the wax. Now we have the white of the foam core showing through. It gives us our resist. It's worked pretty well. Keep turning over the paper towel. If some of the color has gotten through, that's okay too. We have our clouds. Now we need something to catch our eye in the mountains. So 
Let's kind of go from one side where the light might be hitting and start to take off just a bit. Just start to rub off some of the surface because where the wax is, it'll come off. And this kind of catches our eye and makes us see things happening here. A bit on the water. And you know, if there's anything that you've taken off or put on that you don't like, you can always go and work back into it again. That, that's kind of interesting. Now I'm going to maybe just go back in with my, really like the denim again, and just kind of bring through some of the shapes of what the rocks might be, the stones or the whatever. And that kind of breaks up the area a bit. The other thing I could do is take the handle of a brush. I have a kind of a pointed handle. And just kind of make things like maybe there's an area here where, you know, something there that catches our eye scrape through it. You could write into it at this point if you like. Make things happen in different directions. Create different textures with it. It's almost like drawing with the handle of the brush. Put in a little bit more the denim in through here, kind of dab it. So I use an old brush. <clears throat> an old brush really, you know, gets <laughs> gets a workout here. But here, just to make things look interesting. And then our water, picking up a bit of highlights here and there. Here's my fingernail. Water waves have that kind of a W look. They come together and get a Y kind of a look, like the shape of a Y. And, um, yeah, let's you know when you like it, it's done. Just kind of walk away from it and dries quickly and go on to your next foam core shape. So I have my mountain range. I have my cloud showing through. I have six colors total. And you come out with an interesting textured piece that um, would need to be, uh, the wax is still vulnerable. You know, it can be scraped and, you know, however you wanted to do it. You can even use a, you know, X-Acto knife on it. So it, the piece would have to be framed under glass, you know, maybe with a, um, with a mat or something, but so do most pieces, you know, most artwork needs to be framed, if it was on Yupo, it would have to be framed also, so I mean, you know, there's, there's that added part to it. You could probably try spraying it with some kind of fixative, giving it several coats. Maybe that would help set it up a bit. But um, play around, have fun, try different things. You can find this, um, this wax online. Um, I, I try looking for the beige one, but it's Amico Wax Resist. It's really fun. 
lots of things you can do with it. Have a good time. Thanks for looking. Bye.